Hello and welcome to testing your subscriber using the bird watt meter. The few parts we'll need are going to be a BNC female to N type male and a TNC female to N type male, as well as a whip which comes with the rubber duck antenna kit. We'll actually need two of the whips, uh, but there's probably one with the subscriber that you're going to test. Something to keep in mind is that the connectors will be different if you're testing a RG8 antenna. Now go ahead and connect one of the connectors to each side of the bird watt meter. It really doesn't matter which is which, whatever is the most convenient for you. Now the first thing we always want to do whenever we're disconnecting the antenna is to disconnect the serial cable so it's no longer supplying power to the transceiver and then you don't have to worry about burning out the transceiver. The next step I like to do is to disconnect the BNC from the bottom of the transceiver and connect it to one of the sides of the bird watt meter. Now take that second whip and connect it to the bottom of the transceiver and to the TNC uh, side of the bird watt meter. Now that the bird watt meter is hooked in line with the antenna, you can go ahead and reconnect the serial cable applying power to the transceiver. I'm going to use the Wi-Fi dongle to connect to our subscriber today, but you could easily use a laptop and an ethernet cable if that's what you have available. You can see we have the antenna connected in line with the bird watt meter. It's important to remember which side is which as it can get a little bit confusing. We'll log into our subscriber and under the tools menu, if you scroll down, you'll see start antenna test. Once you hit this button, start test, it'll key the transmitter for five seconds. This is testing how much power is coming out of the antenna. We want the middle number on the dial divided by 10. Now we're going to point the arrow towards the transceiver, which will test the reverse power. We want this to be less than 10% of the forward power. And you can see the needle barely moves. That is a perfect pass for the bird watt meter. If when doing the reflected test, you see the needle move a lot, more than 10% of the forward power, it can be one of three main issues. Either your cable is bad, your crimps are bad, or there's too much metal near the antenna and it's reflecting the signal. When looking at the gauge of the bird watt meter using the 5E element, we want to use the middle set of numbers divided by 10. So 20 equals 2 watts. Now that we've completed all the testing, we want to go ahead and disconnect the serial cable on the transceiver so when we disconnect the antenna, we don't burn out anything. Now we'll disconnect the connectors and reconnect the antenna before finally reconnecting the serial cable. Thank you very much everybody and I hope you have a great day.